Hi everybody, welcome. Today I have a very exciting guest. Jeff Robley is here joining me in the kitchen. Hey, Thank Dini. you so much for coming. This is so much fun. Yes, it's been a long time. It's been like a year since we've cooked together. I know. So. This guy right here is a celebrity chef. He's restaurateur. He's mm -hmm. on The Chew. Yeah, The Chew, uh, the Robley & Co. show in Bravo. In my restaurant, Streets Restaurants in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, just opened up about six months ago. It's going very well. Congrats. And I, as always, I'm always catering. Roblin co cater so. so impressive. So you were a busy, busy man, I take mm -hmm. it. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your day to come cook with me. Oh, anytime. Anytime for you. <laughs> this is really fun. And you have an awesome recipe for us today. Right? Yes, yes, yes. This is something, it's very easy. It's light. It's healthy. These um, are all things that I love. Me too. You know, <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of time to, you know, spending like an hour making dinner. You yeah. know, yeah. this is something that's like 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't take a high skill level. Yes. And, uh, and it's good stuff. So show us what we're making. Okay, so we're gonna do two, uh, there's two steps. First we're gonna make the sauce. Okay. And the sauce is an avocado vinaigrette or puree. Uh, it's, it's super simple. The ingredients are avocado. This one is perfectly avocado. right. Yeah, it wasn't easy yeah. to find, I'm just you saying. You see, like you can push the yeah. little like indentation. Two grocery stores, two yeah. grocery stores to find these. Good job. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have <laughs> avocado. You can actually split these bad boys right. and pop them in that blender. You got it. Right? You got it. And then uh, there's shallot, Okay. salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, and you want the zest uh, of, the, of the lemon, because that's where the real flavor mm. is. Yeah, if, so clean, you love know. that. So I'm gonna start zesting this lemon. That is perfectly right. Perfect, perfect. That's what you're looking for, people. Yes. So what we're gonna do with this uh, vinaigrette is, we're gonna use it as a sauce on our snapper. We're gonna do some pan-seared wild snapper with some seasonal vegetables. Love that. We're gonna toss it all together. Yeah, and cheese, right? And cheese, yes, yes, yes. We have a really nicely aged uh, Parmesan, which you got from the farmer's market, correct? Yes. Beautiful aged Argentinian Parmesan cheese. Wow. You could smell it's like it's nice, strong. Oh yeah. Parmesan. That's umptuous. That's umami. Yep. That's, that's umami right there, baby. That's what you're that's what you're looking for. I love it. I'm going in with the lemon zest. Okay. Can I salt and pepper this? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Those are the lemons. Salt, some pepper. Pepper. You got it, you got it. And okay. I have a little bit of water here just to get things going. Right, so I guess loosen it up a little bit, make mm -hmm. it more of like a sauce and not like a guacamole. Exactly. I guess. So I put half, there's a cup of water there, I put half in it for now. If I need a little bit more once it starts blending, we'll All add right. it then. And we're adding the shallot and we're gonna blend this up. Let's do it. Okay. Gorgeous. I mean, that's that pretty much it. I love it. We're gonna use it as a dressing and as a sauce or a topping for the fish. Mm -hmm. So we're I good love that. with that. Beautiful. Should we All go right. make our fish? I think we should. Let's do it. All right. Let's head to the range. All right, so let's fry this fish. We have some beautiful red snapper here. Yes, we have red snapper here. So here's one little trick that I like to do. Um, on the skin side, I want this skin to be crispy and as much browning as, as possible all the way across. Yeah. So one little trick that I do is I'll make a little pinch and I'll just make a little incision there. This keeps the skin from kind of like seizing up it keeps it nice and flat when it's in the pan, so you get nice cool. browning on the fish. I feel like if you're gonna serve skin, it's gotta be crispy. Huh? Yes, it must be. All right, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna oil this fish down, right? That looks so pretty. Give it a little pepper, a good amount of pepper, and salt. That's all it really needs. Yes, we are nice and hot now. Like, right. you want the pan to be hot, like really hot. That's what's gonna keep the fish from sticking. And it's also uh, going to give you a nice crispy skin. So wait here's, for it. Here's that sound. Yep, yep. I like love it. it. Just for about eight seconds. Just hold it down. It'll keep the skin nice and crispy. Okay, so that's my first one. This is the one time where pressing down on food is actually a good yes, thing, right? It, we always say yes. burgers and pancakes let them be fluffy, never press it down. For this particular fish, that's just fine. I'm going to take this whole pan and put it in a 375 degree oven for about eight minutes or so, and the fish will be cooked all the way through, perfectly juicy, delicious. And that's it. All right. Love it. Okay, look how crispy that fish looks. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's it's so perfectly pretty. brown, you see those little incisions that we made help keep the fish flush and flat on the pan, which gave it nice crispy skin all the way across. Stunning, so, I love it. I think we're about ready to plate this thing up. All right, 
Yeah. Let's do this. What okay. What do we have here? Well, I already steamed off some, some cauliflower. All right, so we that's put it nice in a and easy. steaming basket mm -hmm. in a little pot. Mm -hmm. Cover the lid, put a little bit of water in it. Cover it up and just... Let it go. All right, so we're gonna season this. Okay, some with salt. Some salt and pepper. Right. So what's it like being on the chew? You get to work with uh, Mario Batali. Batali is my favorite chef in the world, and uh, it's yeah, it's an honor to work with him. That is so and cool that you get yeah. to work with him. Does he really wear cro Crocs every day? Yeah, he wears <laughs> his orange Crocs every day. So, Actually, we, so. we traded one time. I gave him like a pair of Kanye sneakers, -uh. and, and I put on his Crocs. It's live on television. It's, it's on the internet somewhere. You? Nah, -uh, yeah. you rocked his Crocs. Right here. We have some baby kale, okay. And and the cool thing about this is that the the heat, the residual heat from the cauliflower is going to wilt the kale. And yes, we have some aged parmesan. It's going to melt the parmesan too. Mm -hmm. You want to go in with some of that? Okay. And I want to go in with a little bit of our avocado oh, vinaigrette that we made God. earlier. So basically, look at this like it's See a it warm salad. See it already. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're like dressing a warm salad. salad. Yes. We'll put a little, a little bit more when we plate it too. Okay, so you can stop for now. But we're not done. We're, we're definitely going to use some more of that. All right. So we'll toss this around. Look how beautiful this is. All right. It's delicious, well seasoned. And what kind of food are you doing in your restaurant? Do you want to chew? Is it mostly soul? Um, I know you do soul food. Well, at, at Streets, we do just a little bit of soul, um, but mostly Streets is, is international street food. I'm sure a lot of y'all out there had um, hot dogs and baked beans yes. for lunch or for dinner when your mom didn't have a lot of time, but imagine that made by a pro chef. Yep. So things like that. <laughs> we did that right? a lot growing up. My mom mm -hmm. always made baked beans. Mm -hmm. It's global cuisine. Wow. It's all around the world. Is that your world. idea? It sure was. It sure was. Him. You are creative. You're talented. Thank you, you very all, much. Mr. Well, you Not know what? I think you should hit this bad boy with some more of that cheese. Okay. Just make it snow. Let it snow. I love Let it snow. it snow. It's Christmas in September. I love that. That's food porn right there. Yes. Okay. Love it. We have our perfectly. Ooh, I love how you see the slits. That just makes it pretty. Snapper. Oh yeah. Yeah, on, on top of it being functional, it's, it's actually it's visually pleasing as well, oh, right? Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm going to do a this little, impressive. A little, little dollop on top of the avocado. I'm salivating. So, oh, this looks so good. <laughs> hey, hey, you're eating for two, okay? I am. A little bit of parsley. This is no, that's, beautiful. All that's right, this is going on Instagram. It. I mean, what else? We want to throw a little bit of lemon on sure. here? Sure. Yeah. Lemon, lemon zest, lemon juice. What you thinking? Why not a little bit of zest on there? Oh, pretty little speckles of yellow. Holy. I think we have a winner. Dini, I think we have a winner. Killed it again. Love Got it. Got a winner. Dini, this is what's for dinner. So we have our pan seared wild snapper with uh, cauliflower, baby kale, tossed in an avocado vinaigrette with some aged Parmesan snow, because yeah. she let it snow. You saw that, right? I made it snow. <laughs> that is gorgeous, and I think that we should definitely try it. But it's almost too pretty to eat. Should we take pictures first? I think we should. Okay, let's do it. Let's get our phones. Okay, so moment of truth here. This is looking fabulous. Oh, yes. Look how soft the fish is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. You make me go. the perfect bite. You have everything right there. You have everything. Cheers. All right. Oh, we just touched forks. That's Cheers. We just cheers with forks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Roble, this is delicious. You taste that Parmesan like just through and through. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah, the Parmesan is what really took it over the top. And it's creamy also from that avocado. avocado right, and it's That's healthy like creamy. That's a vegan dressing. So yeah. if you don't want to add the cheese, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend doing it. But the avocado is creamy. Oh my God. That totally works for me. That totally works. And it's gonna work for you. I'm telling you, try this. This is like the perfect dinner. I'm so excited. Thank you so much Super for joining easy. me, Rope Lay. This is awesome. My pleasure. Let's do it again soon. Seriously, long overdue. Yes. This was amazing. And that is how Dini delivers with Roble.